Hello, party people. We're at Costco. I'm actually not there yet, but I'm in a rush, so I wanted to film an intro while I'm at this stoplight. The baby's crying and the light is green. <laughs> Hello, party people. I'm at Costco right now, and I'm actually in a little bit of a rush. One, I'm nursing a baby, fussy. Hopefully, she falls asleep while I'm shopping. Two, I have the bike rack on the back of my car, and I said, oh, when I'm done with Costco, I'll meet you guys at the park. Well, they have to load up the bikes before they go to the park, so... Oh, my family. When I speak of they, you guys understand, I assume. Okay, so we're gonna go inside Costco. Let's go explore. I was just gonna make this a haul, but I'm sure they have some new and exciting, cool things that I wanna show you, so it'll be a combo. Shop with me and haul. Let's hit it. They have White Claw at Costco. Apparently this is a big thing that's making a movement. I think it's Seltzo Wada and it's $30? What is so great about it? That makes it $30. How many do you get? 12? Does that say 12? It better be the best salsa. Okay, I just read it. Not only is it sparkling water, it is spiked. That's why it's $30. It's an alcoholic beverage. That's why I know nothing about it. Moving on. They have, uh, that looks like wine. A box for $60. I don't know how many bottles you get in there. Uh, ho, 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 doesn't say on the box. Uh, it's Pinot. That's what I can tell you. Moving on. AirPods. Ooh, Fanatics. What is this? Oh my gosh, you guys can make your own skylight. Look how bright that is for just $45. That is actually really cool. Skylights are amazing. This is not, not a real, is this a real skylight? No, it's LED. It's like a fake skylight. Awesome. Sunlight every day. It's like you're living in Florida. They have this Maui shampoo and conditioner. It's a moisturizing with shea butter, coconut oil, and macadamia oil. It's a two-pack here for $10.49. So I don't know if it's good, but it looks pretty cool. And then, ooh, this Neutrogena rain bath. $12 for a mega bottle. Okay, these hats are amazing. They have men's and I think women's too. <gasps> they better have women's. Okay, they do. This one is women's. So that's good. <laughs> they have both different colors, black, white, blue. And guys, I just bought a hat or I would totally buy one of these. $15 for an Adidas hat. Are you kidding? This is a pretty great deal too. They have an eight pack of Puma socks. These are athletic socks. I don't know if they're compression socks. I don't think they are, uh, but they're Puma and they're on sale right now, $9, normally $12. Two different colors, dark ones and light ones. They have these polos for $15 and they are Nat Nasty brand. <laughs> I don't know what that, Nat Nast. Um, and, but these athletic shirts caught my eye. They're $13. These are men's, three different colors and they're really great quality. There's a little picture of one for you, nice. And then these shorts for $19, men's shorts. These, oh my gosh, they're Tommy Hilfiger. Blow me over with a feather. Those are cute. You might think these are blankets. You would be mistaken, like I was. They're Sherpa sweatshirts. At Costco, what, how much are these? Oh my gosh, $19, and there's the asterisks. Our last shop with me, we saw the little boy spring outfits. <gasps> and they have their dresses out. Look how adorable. I love spring pastels. What else do we have? This pink number and then the purple down here. These are $18 for that gorgeous dress. One more over here as well. Just so darling. You know the street tacos. Now they have pit smoked brisket. Uh, around $16 for one little thing comes with, I guess, brisket, Hawaiian rolls, some sauce, and some slaw. Oh, and then I think I showed you this Mediterranean tray. Delicious, but $16, a little steep. However, if you're not going to cut it yourself, go for it. I thought these looked fun. These frozen cocktails look like little popsicles. Uh, they're spiked though. Everything seems to be spiked these days. 6% alcohol, $18 for however many you get in there. I don't know. I can't read. Costco has done it again. They always have these for every season. I love this. Well, love, hate. Disposable plates, if we're going to use them, they might as well be this pretty. Am I right? Comes 200 count. I think it serves 50 people. Oh, it, it is $14. 
Mm, these are new. They're $9 for 36 Cubano inspired bites. Interesting. Pulled pork. I'm waiting for my husband to tell me uh, which NyQuil he prefers. It's a long story. He's sick. Not feeling well. He got the man flu. Do you know what I mean? It's like everyone else in the house gets sick and they're fine. They live. But then the husband gets it and it's like the mutated strand. Okay. I was so anyway, I'm browsing and I found this. $10. It's a cute little sweater. It's for girls, obviously. Oh my gosh, it's BCBG at Costco. Are you kidding? Anyway, it comes with these super adorable shorts. I thought I just had to share that with you. It's so cute. What does this one say? Hello, my darling. Hello, my sweet. Hello, sleep. Okay. Oh, and it also comes with shorts. These are so cute. This one says dream and chaser or just dream chaser. Okay. I thought this was an ampersand. Tis not. He wrote me back, so it's time to go check out, but you know what happens when it's time to check out. Everyone else has the same thoughts. So this is a two-piece set infant cardigan set. That's cute. And then they have this one for the ladies. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a three-piece pants, onesie, and then this cute little pea coat. Is that what it's called? Oh my gosh, it's already 90 degrees in Florida. Actually, it's really nice today. What am I saying? This is super cute too. Onesie, oh my gosh, $12? Okay, Meredith does not need any more clothes, but that's very tempting. Oh, a cute, couple cute ones for the boys over here. Oh, <laughs> little baby shark, do, 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 do. Baseball player over here, all-star. Oh, football, excuse me. Isn't the Super Bowl like now, yesterday? I don't know. <laughs> oh, and the unicorn. Just so many cute things to see. What does this onesie look like? Oh, it's just gray, but the pants have unicorns. Those are stinking cute. What's over here? Oh my gosh, I could shop in the clothes section all the time. These bears and moose? Oh, stop it. It's so darling. Oh, it's just gray. I wonder if it has anything on it. No, it's just a gray onesie. Still cute. Got a little one for the girls. Onesie looks like this. Oh, does it have pigs, farm animals? Oh my gosh, it's darling. That is sweet. And then this one might be my favorite. Look how fancy this girl is. Yes. I say this all the time, but I can do an entire shop with me in the clothes section. Look at this sweater. If you could feel it, you would not even believe it's only $20. They also have these colors too, this like blush and then gray. Well, it's kind of like a blue green. It's showing up gray on camera, but it's like a blue green. You can trust me or not. We are now home. This is the haul and a little special over here. A special what? I don't know. A special rug. It is a rolling rug. What are these called? It's called a something with an R. A runner. It says it right there. Thank you words. It's a runner and I don't know if it will fit right here in our kitchen here to here. Oh, look, I have a towel on the ground. So great. I like this rug. It gets dirty really fast. Just wash it and it still looks dirty. Anyway, maybe that will work there. I'm not sure. And that, well, what we have is a mat under it. You don't care. Anyway, we have a mat under this. Nice and cushy. Moving on. This is the food that we got. Still don't really have a plan. But also, we're about to go to the park, so I'm going to try to make this quick. And I want to throw a chicken in my Instant Pot. Can I use my Instant Pot and then leave the house? Is this frozen? I don't think it's frozen. Do you even know what it is? It is a whole chicken. There's two of them in here and I got them for the price of $10.88 for two. And I know what you're thinking. They have rotisserie chicken. Got distracted by a little child ready to go to the park asking about his bicycle. What on earth is this? I don't know, don't ask questions. Might be crap from my van. Could be crap from Costco. Most likely crap from my house. <laughs> okay, I know what you're thinking. Two chickens for that price. You can get them already cooked at Costco with the rotisserie style. Yes, I could. And I don't know why I didn't. You know why? Because when you cook it yourself, you don't have to do much to it. Salt, pepper, a little bit of butter, whatever. Throw it in your crock pot, which is what I usually do. And you get so much like chicken liquid broth if you will and you can make your own gravy from that and that's what I really like so moving on about talking about chicken for 20 minutes I also got some thighs $17 for I don't know how many pounds it's a lot I guess I could not be lazy and tell you how many pounds 7.78 pounds for that 
I also got some goldfish. We're going backwards today. Oh, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I can do it. I can't do it. Okay, start over here. <laughs> start over here. Uh, we read right to left. Am I right? Okay, strawberries right there. These were a decent price and Wentworth has been asking for them, so I should probably cut some up before we leave. I got two bundles of bananas. One to eat now and one to eat later. Do you see the color difference? Green, yellow, nice. I also got some romaine. We ran out of it. Oh my gosh, ate in my salad with no romaine. Who am I? And then some Brussels sprouts. Love these for dinner. Just cut them up, half them, throw, toss them with like olive oil, salt and pepper. Super simple. That's my life. And then broccoli. Same thing with that. That's frozen broccoli so you could steam it whenever you need to. Oh, and then I got these corn muffins. Almost passed them by. But you know the muffins are always a great deal because you get uh, not six, you get 12 of them. It's amazing. I forgot how much they're, they sell for, but it's a great price. Look how big they are. I got corn muffins, which I thought, hmm, that's healthier than like a chocolate chip muffin. <laughs> no, I don't know. Make me feel better and tell me it is. I looked through the ingredients and sugar was not at the top. So I thought, eh, decent. Um, I thought I could just serve this with any dinner. You know what I mean? Hopefully my kids like them because we have stinking 12 of them. Also got carrots, green beans. I, I mean, these are the vegetables that we eat basically every night for dinner. Oh, also cauliflower, not the best price, but actually, I mean, it was like four fifty, I want to say. So decent price for probably a head and a half of cauliflower or maybe a full head. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I cook all my vegetables the same way, roasted in the oven, 400 or 425, and then olive oil, salt, and pepper. If you want to be fancy, throw in some garlic powder on that crap or Italian seasoning. <laughs> Those are the only seasonings I use. I got some cuties. We're running low. I also got some raspberries right there. Um, oh, I got a water bottle. Okay. Hydrate. And then, oh my gosh, my husband, like I was just telling you, he's got a man cold and listen, everyone is feeling it in the house. Okay. <laughs> is there like a place where I can just lock him away <laughs> until he feels better? I got him this uh, because he worked out with me. Hey, uh, he is not very consistent with working out, but I thought for some motivation, I'll get him an athletic workout top. So that's what I did. I got him this one. I want to say it was $11. I think I showed you guys. I almost got the blue one, but I think he would appreciate the black one. It's slimming. You know what I mean? And then I got these granola bars. Oh, two boxes of these. Do you know why? Because they were on sale. What? So amazing. My kids eat way too many of these. So I have learned to keep them in the garage with our extra food storage and then put them up high and most of the time they don't get to them. <laughs> Sometimes they do. I got some eggs. I should have got two packages of these because I really, guys, I'm really trying to love my Instant Pot, but I'm just not. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even really enjoy the way it cooks rice. I would rather cook it on the stovetop. I think it tastes better. However, I am trying. Try as I may, it's not working out for me yet. Yet is the main word because you try, try, try until you do not fail. Try until you succeed. What's that quote? Fail, fail until you try? I think Bobby Bones has a book. What is his book called? Fail until you don't. I want to, I, you know what? I'm going to stick with that. Fail until you don't. I got a lot of butter. I have been making mashed potatoes and I actually got a ton of potatoes, which I don't enjoy peeling them. So I like buying the small ones because I can just throw them and boil them in a pot. Ooh, or the Instant Pot, if you will. That's what I don't like about the Instant Pot. If I want to make separate things, you know, like mashed potatoes and then chicken, I can't make them together and it takes an extra amount of time. Anyway, moving on. So I can put them on the stove top, the small potatoes, and make mashed potatoes with because I don't peel those and it's amazing. But I did buy the potatoes that you have to peel, but not at Costco. So I don't know why I'm talking about it. But I don't, oh, I'm talking about it because I got butter and that's what I use butter for, mashed potatoes. And then um, non-vanilla almond milk, like non-sweetened almond milk and cream cheese. I throw some cream cheese on that crap and it is delicious. It's so simple to make uh, mashed potatoes on your own. Am I right? And then we got these pretzels. Eleanor really likes them. You know what? I went there. I went to Costco to get stuff like snacks. Oh, is that it? Uh, yeah, I showed you this. Oh, and then I got some underwear. A five pack for, yep, granny panties because that's what I love. A five pack for, I don't remember how much it was, but it was like crazy price. I think that's all I got. So I went to Costco to get snacks for, oh, gosh. 
I started that sentence three times, but why can I not finish it? Lunches. <laughs> they need snacks and stuff to bring in their lunches and guys, you tell me you missed the lunch videos, but I gotta tell you something. I never know what to pack. <laughs> in the morning, I'm like, what am I gonna pack? And it just always ends up being the same thing. So I need, oh gosh, this stain on my shirt. I'm so embarrassed. Just don't look at me, I'm a mess. So I need inspiration just like you do. But however, I need like real life lunch inspiration, not like, you know, fancy dancy lunches. Cause I don't, I just cannot do it. <laughs> and you know what? Speaking of lunch videos, I deleted a lunch video. I meant to upload it, but it, I ended up only uploading like a, a picture that was in the lunch video. It's a long story. And so I deleted it thinking it was uploaded, thinking I could schedule it to upload to YouTube. Anyway, uh, that did not happen. <laughs> if I could explain to you how many videos I have made, filmed, edited, and then never released to the public, the World Wide Web, you'd be like, oh, Kim, what kind of gems are we... And you're not missing out on any gems. This has taken a turn. Why are we talking about videos? This is a grocery haul. Do you have any... Um, dinner inspiration? Did I give you any ideas? No? Okay, I'm gonna go to the park, ride... I'm not gonna ride my bike. I should get a bike. Is there a bike with like a an infant seat that I... Can, oh, can I bike ride while I'm baby wearing? Is that too dangerous? Alex says it's dangerous. Okay, time to go. Actually, oh, I'm gonna throw the chicken in. I'll let you know how that goes. Maybe I'll let you know how that goes over on Instagrams. So anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me letting me show you all the food that we'll be eating this week and oh Wentworth Wentworth <laughs> Wentworth how do you spell Wentworth? W-E-N-T-W-O-R-T-H That's how you spell Wentworth <laughs> Yeah, that's how you We have Google Box Yes, he's very happy that we finally have granola bars back in the house. It has been a while. Ice cream. And we no ice cream. <laughs> he's disappointed. Did you buy ice cream? I did not buy any ice cream. Oh she's <laughs> one of Alex's oh, one of Alex's friends say that. No, it's inappropriate. Oh, you, you say, oh man. Oh you guys, the things that kids say, the things that they pick up on. Alex has a friend who says that all the time and I'm like, our kids are gonna start saying that. No, they won't, no, they won't. I'm like, oh. I'm gonna show that to him. That is hilarious. Okay, gotta go. Peace out. If you want, subscribe, put some happy in your day. I don't know what you've been waiting for. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, I didn't take a thumbnail at Costco. Darn. How about this? That's a terrible one. Terrible lighting. Well, we'll get over it. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna do it for two, oh, two and a half hours. It's on, uh, hold on. Uh, do, I, do I need the lid on at this point? Is it gonna, okay, it's gonna burn down my house. I need to calm down. That's what it looks like. Wish me luck. I'll show you the finished product. Two and a half hours is probably too long. Look, I'm gonna put it on seal. Will it burn my house down? I'm gonna find out. Oh gosh, close it. Okay, fingers crossed that everything works. It's on normal. Should I put it on more? Too late. Oh, okay. That's good. Bye. Okay, I cooked it for an hour and a half. Let it release for 15 minutes naturally. And look at all that broth. It's done. Well, hopefully it's done. I cooked it upside down, so I, mm, verdict's not fully in. I'm gonna try to take it out. Okay, finally got it out. It literally falls off the bone. There's just bones hanging out everywhere here. Ooh, that bone looks sad. Oh, that makes me sad. Okay. Uh, yeah, so thumbs up for that, but here is all of the broth and I'm going to make this into gravy. It's gonna be delicious. Great, and then I've got my So my camera died and then I decided to insert this clip of my camera it falling in my bag. I thought it was funny <laughs> when I was filming at Costco. But thank you guys so much for watching uh, and I hope you enjoyed the shop with me and grocery haul. But that's it. Thanks for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.